What's good, YouTube? This is boy RJ back with another video for you guys. And I know I've been getting a lot of comments and feedback in regards to the streams and to what plays do you run? Hey, man, can you tell me some plays to run? Because they want to get into the gameplay running plays within NBA 2K25. Now, I've been running plays for years, and I'm just letting you guys know that at the end of the day, it gets the job done. Whether you have the certain players or not, you have to find a base load of players. And if you want to make a video explaining in regards to what do I look for in my players in regards to running my plays and the reason why I run my plays to get open looks, I will make another video in regards to that. But today, this video is pertaining a specific playbook that I said, let me go ahead and give some sauce for today's going into um, King of the Court. Now, we got less than maybe an hour and I'm gonna get this video out for you guys so just let you guys know this playbook is the Denver Nuggets playbook and we're gonna, I'm gonna give you five plays and we're gonna talk about these plays and break down these plays in regards to open looks that can get you right now I will say you do want to make sure that your bigs at least have gold um, brick wall if they have Hall of Fame brick wall even better but then again as well if you do have a couple of guards small forwards as well that has that gold or Hall of Fame brick wall that can help out as well but the also key big factor is strength when it comes to setting a brick wall setting a screen you want them players to have the highest damn strength the, the higher the strength the better the screens so we're going to get into it this is the Denver Nuggets gold playbook and I have five plays I'm going to talk about the first play is going to be fist stagger double so you see right let's run it first you see how Dale Ellis comes off a double screen at the top of the key he's going to set a screen right here now that's the second option really that is the second option that is the second option. This is your first option. First option is catch that screen, hit them open. You're able to take that shot. If you got a good people that sets that good screen off of Aaron Gordon, I'm gonna do it again. First screen, boom, good look. Take that shot. Be able to green that. That's the first option. If the, if it's getting covered, he's gonna run. He's gonna set that screen, take off. You got the point guard. You get an easy layup. Now, what you really want to do? You don't want to stand there and make it obvious. So you want to like drive to the rim. When you drive to the rim, you kind of make the other players help. So you want to kind of like move with the ball while the player's running. Look how open, look how so much open you can get a good look if you keep moving the ball. Because the players, they're looking at the point guard. They're looking at the point guard like, all right, what is he doing, bro? But the player's being ran at the same time. You can drive straight to the rim. That big can help. At the end of the day, you, you, you got Carl Malone too, because Carl Malone trying to help on that too. Watch Carl Malone, boom, right here. You just got to knock that down at the end of the day. So that is fist staggered double. You have at least three options within this play. Like I stated before, you want to make sure that you're moving around with the ball. Don't just stand still, because you stand still, it's gonna be obvious. You don't want your plays to look obvious. And that's the, that's the reason why some people plays don't work and they don't get it to work is because they make it look obvious. So that's fit, fist staggered double. Like I said, you got three plays. That first option is looking for Dale Ellis to come off that first screen from Aaron Gordon to the top of the key. That second option, if you don't got that look, is to let Dale Ellis set you that screen. You go around that screen, you go around the screen on Carmelo, try to get an easy layup. If he helps, you got to kick to Carmelo in the paint, it's easy dunk. And that third option is, like I said, you shaking and baking with, with the PG, trying to get to the rim. You either got a free layup, because it's opening up so much space, or you kick it out, you got Dale Ellis, or you got Carmelo. Depending on who helps, you'll see your looks right there. And that is fist, stagger, double. Remember, this is the Denver Nuggets playbook gold playbook just to be exact fist dagger double next play was going to get into is give 53 fist joker this joker now this play right here you kick it down to tony parker right he's going to set a screen going in there that's a double screen coming off right here boom you have that option right here to kick right here that's a three so with this play this is more so of a glitch play because i know a lot of you guys like to try to get in front of the, the computer to try to push off so that way they can't contest on the shot. This is one of them plays to help you do that. So I'm gonna show you slowly right here what you wanna do in this replay. The reason why I'm gonna break down in a replay format is because it makes it easier to just to explain. I gotta green that shot though, but let me back out of this real quick. All right, so with this play right here, Chris Miller has the ball, TP comes up, he's gonna pass in the ball right here, right? Okay, cool, now you waiting for a screen. Chris Miller's gonna set this, he's gonna fake, Set a, he's gonna set a screen for Carl, Carl Malone. So Carl Malone gets set a screen and then you're gonna go off this screen from Carl Malone, your player, right? So the goal right here is you can drive tight, but the real goal is to bump into Dale Ellis, pass out to Chris Mullen and shoot the three. Boom, bump into him, pass out. He has no way of contesting that. That is the goal. So let me go ahead and give it with a green. And I'm gonna show y'all green it because I missed that shot that time. So all right. 
Act like you're doing something with it. Come back this way. Boom, boom, boom. That time he covered. So in that situation, I go straight to the rim. I go straight to the rim because he covered that. So don't go too far down. All right, hit it. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, help, there we go. That's what you want to do right there. You don't want to go too tight. You make it look easy. Okay, get into the next play. It's called Punch Rip Fist. Now we're going to go ahead and get into that one. So punch with fist, you go off that screen right here. So this is pretty much going to be, I would say every playbook needs to have a particular five out. Let me break this down. Every playbook needs to have a particular five out playbook. I mean, play within it. They might not say it, but you want to be able to at least have that. I mean, can you call isolation? Sure, you can call ISO. They're gonna space to one side of the floor, but you want to be able to spread out the entire floor. And the reason why I say this is gonna be your five out, um, because I use a certain playbook and it literally has five out, but this is gonna be your particular five out within this playbook. The reason why I say that is because what this one is, you got five players spaced out on the entire court, you know, two on the baseline on each side of the corners, and then you got one on the left side of the wing, but the one on the right side of the wing, which is Aaron Gordon, he's setting that screen for you. So what you wanna really do is you wanna call this play coming up half court. You don't wanna call this play when you get past half court line. Call this play coming up half court. That way, you know when you get to this position, Aaron Gordon is gonna set you that screen, you just take off. You just take off. You can throw a dot. Hey, green that. Same thing. Take off. You hit that screen. Come back this way. Opposite direction. You know what I'm saying? Take those. I mean, it's if they help. If they help, you got to kick out. So at the end of the day, utilize the screen. Or shoot, hell, just go right out. Go for a layup. Try to get a foul drawn. It's just this is the simple, basic five out joint. You know what I'm saying? Have fun. You know what I'm saying? Get creative. Try to bait. Try to make people help. And drop out that kick out. Simple play. Punch, rip, fist is your five out. Um, quick two hawk is the next play we're gonna work on. And I wanna show you guys, like I went through this playbook and just to pretty much find what would work for me that I would use. So just give you guys the tips and tricks of what can work for you as well. Quiz two hawk is this play as well. And what this one is, you go over here, you're gonna get that screen coming from Dale Ellis. The goal is to get down to the paint. You can help, you see that corner? Well, it's in the corner for a three. Now you can, Hey, as long as you passing that ball right to him, you can hit him right in that direct corner. And hey, man, he's going for a double screen at the end. Look at this. Double screen. Boom, boom, boom. He can get to the top of the key. He's top of the wing. Another three. So you can, if they're overplaying it, let's say if they're overplaying it, right? I'm going to break down a video, a replay, so I can show you guys, right? If that gets stolen, that gets stolen, right? Okay, cool. So let me go back. Let me go back. How far can we go back? All right. So let me break down this one right here. So... Let me get some, right, zoom out. Okay, boom. All right, boom. Here go to play. Execute the play. Come back this way off the Dale Ellis screen. We go right to the paint. To be honest, you can take a, if you're good at taking the mid ranges, like I said, two points is two points. If you can take that pull up mid range, take that pull up mid range. Why not? That should be a first look. But the main look for this play is Chris Mullen. Boom. Set that pump fake, right? Watch him go off the screen. Now, this is an easy kick right here. Top of the wing. That's a green three. Now I'm going to break down and tell you guys, let's just say hypothetically, right? Because if they see this play so many times, they will rotate the player in front. Now they, so pretty much they would have Chris Mullen cut off and go in front of Aaron Gordon to try to beat you to the wing. What you're going to do easily, if he does that, kick it to the corner right there. Kick him out to the corner. Easy three, knockdown. At the end of the day. That's what that play is looked for. Now, if you want to see how it's fully ran through, I'll go ahead and fully run it through to see if there's anything extra after that. If you don't have that look to show you guys. All right. But let's just say that's a mid-range, right? I ain't going to take it. Let's say we don't got that look. We don't got that look. We don't got that look. We pass it to him. We go off the screen. One-on-one. -on -one. So if you don't have that look, you still go off that screen with Aaron Gordon. One-on-one. -on -one, hey, and go to work. Probably try to get like a mid-range shot off at that. Come off the screen. Uh, I don't got that look. Be patient. Uh, go off the screen right here. Take that. Take that pull up. Take that one-two pull up right there. Boom. In the game, they're not. You you don't have to call it like that. Just call a play, bro. Don't try to click on a player and call the play because you like up oh, this play needs to go here. So here we go. Fist twenty-one double. So with this play, this I like this play right here. You, you wait for Tony Parker. You go off that double screen. Bow bow. Mm, get to that rim. Get to that. Get to that rim. Draw a foul. Or be patient. Be patient, right? Spill a space. Let them come to you. Boom, double screen, mm, top of the key. That's a three or a two. Simple, simple. This reminds me of Fist 91 double. If you guys know me back in 2K20, I used to run that. <laughs> Fist 91, if you know that, 
this that's what that reminds me i'm gonna show you one more time hit that dale ellis give him a pump fake give him a triple threat let them come to the screen boom 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 got hit stop on the wing you can take that shot right there too pow knockdown hey man good luck in king of the court this is where rj with another video for you guys hey make sure you like subscribe comment if you want more of this with different playbooks let me know in the comment section below you give me a playbook and i'll go through that playbook and find some sauce for you guys you did